let's solve some problems uh, involving uh, a system composed of just two elements. Uh, the simplest uh, we have already looked at in various situations. Uh, and one example is uh, here on your screen that a system consists of uh, two binary units, uh, two resistors connected in series, and the system success is defined uh, as a connection exists across these two. Uh, each of these resistors uh, is binary in nature, they are mutually independent, uh, they have the same failure probability P, and uh, we have solved for the system failure probability uh, for such a simple system several times uh, in the past. So the answer is uh, the system uh, failure probability is uh, twice P minus P squared because uh, F cis is F1 uh, union F2, so P of F cis is P of 1 plus P of 2 minus P F1 F2 and because they are independent it's P plus P minus P squared. Uh, we need to remember this because we are going to look at a little more complicated problem, a three-state uh, problem and the question would be uh, is it going to look uh, the same. So this 2P minus P squared we are going to come back to. Uh, the parallel configuration involving uh, these two resistors uh, would have their own uh, picture. So uh, we have also looked at these uh, under various guises. Uh, the, the system success once again is that the connection exists across these two uh, and the system failure probability is uh, P squared because system failure is uh, intersection of F1 and F2 and because they are independent the probability is the product of the individual probabilities and this is also something we need to remember. So uh, on the left uh, please remember 2p minus p squared and on the right please remember p squared. With that let us look at uh, a three state system. So we have a three state diode and the three states are like this. Uh, the diode is okay, so it's functioning. The diode is open, uh, which means it's not conducting. Uh, and the diode is short. The probability of being open is PO uh, and probability of being short is PS. So the probability of being okay is one minus PO plus PS. Uh, with this, in mind, we define uh, a configuration uh, that the two diodes are in series. So the question is, and uh, as before, they are mutually independent. Uh, both of them have the same failure probabilities, PO and PS, P open and P short. Uh, the question is that, what is the uh, system failure probability? Please remember what we had before, it's 2p minus p squared uh, in the case of the two resistors. So here in the three state system is it still uh, twice p of failure which it would seem that you know uh, because open is a failure state, short is a failure state. So uh, is it like going to be the same uh, twice of po plus ps minus po plus ps squared. Uh, let's let's work through the system, but here uh, we need to uh, make sure that we factor in what the system success is. So the system success is what a diode is supposed to do, that there is unidirectional current flow. So that's, that's very important. Uh, now, if we now think of, of the logic uh, of such a system, so uh, if system success is unidirectional current flow, then system failure uh, would be that uh, either one diode is open uh, or both have shorted. Uh, if that happens, then uh, either there is no current flow or there is bidirectional current. Uh, so uh, if you like, you can also uh, 
type of the, the truth table, the enumeration that we discussed uh, earlier in this lecture. And here instead of uh, 2 to the power of n, we have 3 to the power of n. So there are 9 uh, states and I have enumerated all of them. And you can see uh, that you know, this, this logic that we had on the left column that system failure is one diode open or both short and system success is unidirectional current flow that is captured completely in this enumeration. So now if you want to work through uh, this uh, problem, uh, please pause the video. Uh, otherwise, let me, let me present uh, the, the solutions. And uh, the first step would be uh, to write the uh, system failure event in terms of the uh, diode uh, states uh, of, of, uh, of one and the other. So there's D1 and D2. Uh, so the system failure is uh, F1 open or F2 open or both have shorted. Uh, so that is the uh, total description of the uh, system failure. Now we can find the probability of this uh, event. So it's basically a P of A union B union C. So there are three uh, sets uh, there. And if we write uh, through the inclusion exclusion formula, uh, there would be P A plus P B plus P C minus P A B minus P B C minus C and so on. Uh, so uh, the question is that why have I stopped just here? Where are the other uh, second order and third order probabilities? Uh, I would ask you to work those out, but the hint is that uh, these, those events are such that uh, null, the null set, uh, uh, ends up being, being the answer. So if you work through this, uh, the answer is uh, twice p open plus p short squared minus p open squared, which is not, uh, which is definitely not uh, what the case would be had we taken the simplistic view of the uh, of the register situation. Uh, so this is how uh, the, the system state and the system logic uh, needs to take into account how the elements uh, behave and how they are uh, put together and how the system uh, function is in terms of the element functions. Uh, we could do the same thing uh, by looking at the parallel configuration of uh, these two three state diodes. So it's the same except that the two diodes are in parallel and if you remember uh, we had P squared in the registers case. Uh, so uh, the question is that is the system failure probability now uh, the, uh, the square of the sum of P open plus P short. And uh, again it's the same logic that the system success is there is unidirectional current flow and system failure is uh, is either one diode short or, or both are open so because they are in parallel and if you like you can fill up this truth table and if you want um, to work through this please pause the video otherwise uh, let me present the answers uh, uh, for this situation. So uh, proceeding as before this is the system failure event and uh, we have the system failure probability and this is the answer which is different from uh, the square of PO plus PS.